In this training, we'll finish learning how to use XPads in the Builder, continued from Part 1. On my screen, you can see two panels, DOM and XPath. To open these panels, go to File and choose Settings. Then, check the boxes next to XPaths, DOM, and Auto DOM Navigation, and click Save. The DOM window shows the HTML behind each element on the page. We need this information to write an XPath. The XPath panel is where the selected action's XPath can be manually edited. To understand how to use XPaths in list and non-list actions, we'll use two examples. First, I'll show you how to capture data that isn't visible on the page. In this case, a product's actual star rating text, when only the star images appear. Then, I'll show you how to use XPaths to repair actions within a list. Continue watching to see the whole video, or choose one of these options to skip forward. This agent captures each product name from a list of products on the page, then clicks on each product to view its individual details page. On the product page, I want to capture the star rating, but if I attempt to capture it the conventional way, no data appears in the Captured Text Preview panel. As you can see, there is no text that displays the star rating, only the image. Fortunately, that information does exist as text in the HTML of this web page. To find the star rating within the HTML, I'll hover my cursor over the star rating, and its corresponding HTML tag will be highlighted in the DOM panel automatically. I can find the star rating if I do some exploring by opening some of the nearby HTML tags. Now that I've found the data I want within the HTML, I'm ready to write an XPath that targets this data. I'll make sure I've selected the action I want to write an XPath for, and delete the current XPath so I can write a new one. Rather than specifying the exact path from the top of the document to the target node that contains the star rating, I want the agent to find this data wherever it appears in the HTML, so I'll start with a double forward slash. Next, I'll type the name of the HTML tag where my data is located, in this case, div. Now, I'll use an attribute to help the agent know which div within the HTML has the desired data. I can see that the tag which contains the star rating has a class attribute with the value of PR snippet rating decimal. So in square brackets, I'll type the at sign, which stands for attribute, and then type the name of the attribute, class. Next, I'll type an equals sign and an open quote and the value of that attribute, PR snippet rating decimal, followed by a close quote. I can check the Captured Text Preview panel to make sure the star rating is being captured correctly. Let's move on and learn how to use XPaths to repair actions within a list. On the Product List page, I'm capturing each product name, but I also want the price. When I capture the price, the agent returns an Elements Not Found error. If I scroll down, I can see that one of the prices is not being captured. This price looks different from the others on the page and we need to write an XPath that will work for every price. Let's compare them in the HTML. By hovering my cursor over the red price, I can see it in the HTML. It belongs to an HTML element called span with a class attribute that says our price red. If I hover over a normal price, I can see that its HTML element is different. Most of the prices on this page belong to an element called font, with a class attribute that just says our price, without the word red. The XPath for this action specifies the font element, but we know it could be either font or span, based on what we've just seen. What really matters is that the class attribute contains the word our price. I'll replace font with an asterisk, so that the XPath will find either font or span. Then, I'll replace the number 1 with the following. Contains, open parentheses, at sign, class, comma, open quote, our price, exactly as it appears in the HTML, close quote, close parentheses. This will find any element, regardless of the name, that contains, but is not limited to, 
our price within its class attribute. The text is now being captured in the Captured Text Preview pane. This concludes the training on using XPaths in the Builder. For more resources on XPaths, click below to search for XPath in the Help Center.